What's up, KFG crew and KFG Kings? This is your boy, B-Boy Fanshine TV. And tonight, I will give you guys my AEW um, Rampage review on highlights. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. Every time I premiere a brand new video, I'll go live on YouTube. Follow my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, my TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. Let's talk about AEW Rampage. Now, AEW Rampage was a good show, and that's all I gotta say. All right, all Elite Wrestling kick off June with a star star episode of AEW Rampage on June 3rd. And a Buzz World Tag Team about the Young Bucks will face the Lucha Brothers. Plus, Scorpio Sky will defend the TNT Championship against Dante Martin. Plus, Athena will make her AEW in ring debut against Kira Hogan. All right. First match card, we got the Young Bucks versus the Lucha Brothers. This was a good tag team match. Um, Matt Jackson and Penta start the bout, start the bout and square off with their respective taunts. Penta throws his glove at Matt, who dodges an early power driver attempt. They trade counters as as the match is a stalemate early on. Nick Jackson and Fe Ray Phoenix tag in and trade fast paced offense. Nick hits a across acrobatic arm drag. They the they the match each other step for step. Knock each other knock knock each other down with a kick and a kip up. The young bus gained the upper hand and the rock and Rock Ray Phoenix with a serial with a serial kick. Nick dives onto Phoenix outside the ring and Penta takes flight takes flight with a dive onto the Jackson brothers. Um Ray Phoenix dives onto everyone outside the ring. Nick blasts Ray Phoenix with a kick and takes Penta down with a hurricanrana. Ray Phoenix plant Matt with a cutter at ringside. The Lucha Brothers double team Nick, who rally and makes tag to Matt. He suplex Ray Phoenix and lifts both Lucha Brothers for a double suplex. Ray Phoenix takes Matt down with a hurricane and kicks Nick. He hits a diving stump on, on Matt for a two count and dives onto him at ringside. Ray Phoenix hits, hits a perfect floor splash for another two count. Nick Nick Jackson drops Ray Phoenix and makes him end up randomly drop Panther with a poison runner. Ray Phoenix rocks Nick with a kick and dives off Panther onto Nick for a near fall. Ray Phoenix eats a super kick and Panther gets in, invited to a super kick party. The young bus catches and dives Ray Phoenix and, and hit the Melter Melter. Mel Meltzer driver for a two count. Matt on Matt's Penta and the uh, Bucks super kicks him. The Young Bucks pin Ray Phoenix with the BTE trigger. The winner of the match, the Young Bucks. This was a good tag team match to uh to kick off the show. All right, let's move on to the next match card. Second match card was Ricky Starks and Powerhouse Hobbs versus Local Talent. This was a quick. This was a quick tag team match. Ricky starts to charge the ring and attack their opponents before they can even be named. In a match where the split screen promo was longer than the action, Hobbs was tagged and Uterly overwhelms the opponent overwhelms the opponents before he picks up the dominant win. The winner of the match, Ricky starts at Powerhouse Hobbs. All right, let's move on. So we get uh, so we get Kira Hogan, accompanied by Jay Cargill and Red Velvet and Stokely Hathaway Hathaway versus versus Athena. This was a quick match. Hogan gangs the upper hand with a stiff blow to the face. Athena tries to slam Hogan, but she reverses. Athena hits a. She reverses. Athena hits a springboard crossbody and dives onto her. Onto her off the apron. She stares down Jay Cargill at ringside. But Red Velvet pulls Athena off the apron and helps Kira Hogan take control with a leg drop. Hogan keeps grounding Athena. 
the fan favorite rallies with a fury of offense. She starts Hogan with a uh, kick and an elbow strike. Um, Red Velvet gets up on the apron and Kira Hogan capitalizes on the distraction by knocking Athena off the top rope. She go she gets a two count with the with a running boot. Athena hits the Eclipse for the win. The winner of the match, Athena. All right, let's move on. So we get, um, I'm, I'm sorry, Jay Corgill and Athena stare each other down after the bout. In a promo, the House of Black comment on the addition, the addition of Julia Hart. Melka Black says this is what I mean when they say the House always wins. As, as this was a careful, careful, as you executed plan. Hart says these are the fruits of your labor. All right, let's move on. So we get the in-ring segment, AEW World Champion, CM Punk. All right, the champion does not look happy as he comes to the ring. He has terror, terror. He has tears in his eyes as fans continue to cheer for him after his music stops. He says when he got to the arena, every everybody in his body told him to go home. But he's but, but his gut told him that the fans deserve to know the truth. CM Punk says when he arrived in AEW, he'll wrestle until the wheels fell off. And with that, he has good news and bad news. He he makes it clear that he doesn't want to disappoint the fans, and he hopes he has he hasn't done that yet. CM Punk states that he loves every single second he has been in the ring in AEW. He says he says the bad news he. The bad news is he injured and he needs surgery because a couple things are broken. He says his heart is broken because he loves performing so much. So much. Sam Punk says the wheels hasn't haven't fall off yet, but one of them has broken. Sam Punk says he come he come back from worse, and this is a bump in the road. As as the, as for the title. CM Punk says he told Tony Khan he doesn't want to hold this place up because plenty of people can can step up. He he names Brian Downs and John Marcy. CM Punk says he was willing to relinquish the title, but Tony Khan says he believes in him. He says he needs that he needs that because sometimes he doubts himself. CM Punk says the get the get back is going to be bigger than the setback. He vows to come back bigger, faster, stronger, and hunger. And every and when he comes back, he'll prove that he is the best in the world. Alright. So, we get, so, on, on commentary, Chris Jericho says that CM Punk will be relinquished the title. All right, so we get the TNT Championship match. Scorpio Sky versus Dante Martin. This was a quick match. Scorpio Sky and Dante Martin filled each other out early on. The challenger gains the upper hand. Scorpio Sky grounds the high flyer Martin, who rallies with a furious of offense. The champion hits the TKO for the win. The winner and still your TNT champion, Scorpio Sky. All right. And, uh, and yeah. And um, AEW Rampage goes up there. That that main event was too quick. That was that was a quick main event. But anyway, AEW Rampage was a good show, and that's all God said from here. But anyway, if you guys enjoy my AEW Rampage review and highlights, make sure you guys to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications every time I premiere a brand new video or I go live on YouTube. Follow my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, my TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down, down below in the description. And go check out my WWE SmackDown review on highlights. It's going to be premiering at 12.45 a.m. And that's all I got to say from here. But anyway, I'm going to get up out of here, man. Get, I'm going to get up out of here, man. Um, 
I hope you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe. And always, stay positive. This your boy, Be Right Facts, Shine TV. KFG Crew, KFG Kings. Too sweet to everybody. This your boy, Be Right Facts, Shine TV. And I'm out of here. See you guys later.